Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of my Lego Blender Animations tutorial series. And today, after last episode where we looked at how you can import your bricks into Blender, today we're going to be looking at character design and rigging. Rigging for animation. I'm going to show you how you can make your characters that you can use for your films or your renders. For this tutorial series, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually remaking in Lego a scene from the Mandalorian TV show. Throughout this tutorial series, I'm going to take you through step-by-step the, step, the process of how I would go about on doing this. Now, let's jump right into how you can make your character, which in my case, the Mandalorian. So, what we're going to be doing is you're going to open up the website mechabricks.com, just like we did last time. Except there's one issue for character that we've chosen. Most LEGO characters are actually on this website, but if we search up the Mandalorian, there is no actual... The Lego set for the Mandalorian. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to go to Mechabricks minifigures lower parts and I'm just going to search through and here's the official Lego minifigure. I'm going to search through and I'm going to find a pair of legs that work good for our character. I'm going to go with these legs. These legs look very similar actually to the legs on the official Lego minifigure. And the reason Mechabricks doesn't have the Mandalorian is just because the Mandalorian obviously just came out and it's not on there yet. So now we're going to go to upper parts and I'm actually going to grab the upper torso of Boba Fett since it is a Mandalorian torso. There it is. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag it up so it's aligned with the legs. What I'm actually going to do now is change the color of the arms to match the brown on the Mandalorian character as well as the hands. All right. So now we're going to go through, we're going to add a head. And for this, we're actually just going to add a standard gray head because Mandalorian obviously doesn't take off his mask and his mask is gray, so it'll blend in well. And now we're going to go find Mandalorian head under head clothing. And we're going to click on this head here. This is the standard Mandalorian head because it's gray. And now I'm going to search up cape because the Mandalorian has a cape. Add that in. And this cape, I believe, is gray. So we're going to leave that like just like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to File, Export, Export as Collada. This way you can get the textures to modify them. And what we're going to do is you're going to change the colors. And I'll show you how to do that for both the torso and the helmet. And as you go to go zip file, but what we're also going to do is export it as Blender Add-on.ZMBX. This is the actual model that we're going to be using for the animation. So now that you have both those two files downloaded, wait for that to happen. And we're going to extract the zip file, Collada zip file with our textures in there and open that up, delete this zip file, we don't need that anymore. Open up in the Mandalorian, go to Maps, Diffuse, and here are all our textures. We're gonna start with the torso. Open that up with Photoshop or GIMP or whatever uh, photo editor software you have. You don't need anything fancy for this. All we're gonna be doing is changing the green and the gray to match the brown and beige on the Mandalorian figure. So in order to find the exact color we need, in Photoshop, we're gonna select and find what color we need in the Mecha Bricks. The color is medium nougat, or nougat, or I don't know how to pronounce it. And now we're gonna go to the forum and we're gonna find a PDF under parts and decorations design, under resources, and there's this color chart. And this has all the color codes for all the official Lego um, colors and their codes to put into your software to, to get the exact color. So we need medium nougat. So I'm going to search up medium nougat or whatever pronounce it is. And find that. Medium dark flesh is the other name for it. And we're going to find the color code for Mecha Bricks. And there it is. So I'm going to highlight that. Command C, copy that. And now we're going to go back to Photoshop. We're going to paste this color into our color tab and voila there is our color we need i'm going to go to the paint bucket tool and i'm going to plop that in just like that now we have our background now we just need to change the green so we're changing the green to this gray dark stone gray now highlight under dark stone gray is that Right there, we find the color for that, copy that, go back to Photoshop, paste this new color code in there, click OK, and then use the paint bucket to fill in all the green spots just by clicking on it. Um, we're going to save this as our file, 
saving it to that same folder that we got it from. Now, we're gonna go through and do the helmet. And the helmet, all we need to do is remove the blue and the lighter gray. So that's easy, we can just use the color picker to pick the gray in the background, and then just fill in the other two colors, and voila, that is all. Now, we're gonna finally open up Blender, and this is when we're gonna use the ZMBX file, the Mechabricks file. So, delete the cube, go to File, Import, Mechabricks.ZMBX. Now you're going to need to locate your downloads, your ZMBX file. Make sure you click bevels. This is very, very, very important, as I explained in the last video. Import.ZMBX. And voila. Now we have our Mandalorian character inside Blender. But two things. We need to rig it, and we need to change the colors. So as you can see, if I go into uh, look dev mode, these are not the colors of the Mandalorian. These are the textures that we downloaded but we need to change those to the ones that we just made so we're now we're going to change this to shader editor and this is where we can change our images that are on the models we're going to delete the textures that are already there as you can see now there is no texture on the helmet which is what we just xed off make sure to select the right part and click open we're going to go to the textures that we just created and we're going to find helmet new and there you go import that and there it is that is our new helmet proper texture for the mandalorian in the tv show now do the same for the torso and find the new torso that we just created torso new import that and there we go there's our mandalorian character all proper textures these are the colors of the mandalorian and he looks great but now we need to rig him in order to make him posable so we have a couple options here you can spend some money get uh, they have a shop on Mechabricks, but to rig it what we're actually gonna do is not gonna download this We're gonna find a free one and to define the free rig go to blenderbricks.com And this is a website that's still kind of Under production, but it's basically a website for all blender Lego enthusiasts to upload and share their ideas and just go down and There's a little there isn't there isn't much on the site, but there is two rigs that we can get so click let's blast off how to set up the minifigure rig. And here is a little article written by Citrin's Animations. It's a little tutorial section. And here we have two types of rigs that you can download. We have a basic rig, and we have an IK rig, which is more advanced, and it's better for animation. In our case, since I'm gonna be going through animation, we're gonna be downloading the IK rig. The IK rig just makes animations a lot easier because it will track the foot plants you can move the torso forward while the legs stay in place to create a realistic walk movement or really any step forward movement so now we're going to scroll down click on the advanced rig and then we're going to download this we're going to click this little photo here and it will download the rig for us so click on that save file i'm going to click ok and there's a whole article here not really article a whole tutorial written out form of how to do this i'm going to explain it in this video so you can either read this or you can watch the rest of this video where i'm going to explain how you can set up the rig with your character and there's a great image on that site which shows which bones of the armature you're supposed to parent to each object so find that blend file you just downloaded go to collection we're under append here so we're going to append the collection this is the entire collection now we have we can see we have the rig here and all the rig shapes I didn't actually create this rig. This rig was created by Citrin's Animations. So big thanks to him for providing this for free. So after you've appended the collection, go to the collection on the top and we're just gonna turn off the visibility. We're gonna change that to rig. We're gonna turn off the visibility for the rig shapes. Um, so underneath the collection, we have bone shapes and we don't need to see those and we don't want them to show up in our render. So we're gonna turn off the visibility on that. And just to, to be double sure, we're going to turn on these restriction toggles for everything. And we're going to turn them all off for their bone shapes because we don't want them to show up in any of the rendering at all. So as you can see, if I were to go to rotate the rig right now, it is rotating, but the, obviously the parts are not following with the uh, rig. And that is because we have not parented these parts to each bone. So in order to do this, we have to parent certain bones to certain parts and obviously we we want to parent the, for example, we want to parent the um, arm bone to the arm part. We want to parent the torso part to the torso part, and so on. And it's a great image, which I'll show on the screen right now, 
on that website we were just on that shows you which parts to parent to which bones. Now I'm going to show you right now how you, how you actually parent them. So what you do is you're going to go to object mode, click on the part first, then shift click on the rig, and you're going to click on pose mode, go back to pose mode, you're going to select the part that you want to parent it to, click control P, that'll bring up a menu, and you're click parent to bone. Make sure you click bone, and you're just going to go through and do all the other ones. Now we're going to see we, if we rotate it. Now the arm will follow, but only the arm, not the hand. So that is because the hand is not parented, and we have to parent the hand. So to do this, click on the hand bone, go back to object mode, click shift click on the armature, go back into pose mode. And this is the same thing we did. So click on the bone that you want, control P, click bone. Now what you've done is you've parented the uh, hand part to the hand bone, which means that basically it'll follow all the rotation of the bone. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to do this for every single bone. There are three bones in the whole rig that you actually don't parent anything to. These are the IK bones. These IK bones are basically controllers. So when you move those, they move other bones in a certain way that will move the part. And if you are familiar with how to rig things, you will know what I'm talking about. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, all you really need to worry about is looking at the image and parenting which parts to which bones. And then after that, I'll show you which bones you need to move to move which parts. So as here, we have all our bones parented to the parts. And we also need to parent our cape as well as our hips to the central torso bone. And as you can see, we'll go through and we'll test all the different bones, make sure they're working properly. The helmet rotates as well. And I'm clicking R to rotate, rotate these, by the way. Hit R, rotate, and everything's working just fine. And this is the IK bone for the legs. You click G to move these guys. Click G and you move them with your mouse. Follows the other right leg. Hit G and move them. And it's all working great. And I'll show you a quick demonstration of how these rigs actually work. So if I were to move, hit G and move this left leg forward a bit, and I click G on this hip bone, and move that forward, you can see it works just like a regular minifig where it moves forward and the foot will stay in place. One thing we actually forgot was the gun for the Mandalorian. So I'll show you how to set up the gun. So go back to Mechabricks and look for the gun that you want to use. So I'm going to go to uh, library, go to minifigures weapons. I'm going to use this pistol and you're going to click on the hand joint green here. Then click on the gun and it'll put it in the right spot for you. And so now I've deleted everything and just export as Blender as an MBX with the Lego logo. So now when you import this with the Mecha Bricks importer, Mecha Mandalorian 1, that is the gun, make sure bevels are on, import it, it'll just pop up right where you want it to be. Ideally, you would have done this with your character at the same time, but I forgot, so I did it now. And parent, what you're gonna do is you're gonna parent this one to the hand bone as well. I click Control P on the hand bone and just like we did before now if we move the arm top bone everything with the gun is rotating along just like we want all right now our entire mandalorian is rigged and ready to go for animation we'll cover that in the future that is it for part two in our uh, series for making lego animations in blender hopefully that tutorial was easy to follow leave a comment on what you thought of what i could do to improve my tutorials thanks for watching